Hello party people, it's moving day. We actually decided to forego movers and not even really rent a U-Haul because um, it's pretty close to where we live. Just, we're like, eh, we'll just load up the van a few times. No big deal. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I took one trip with the van because, well, that's a story. Hold on. So the movers we thought would show up at eight o'clock. Um, they did not show up at eight. <laughs> it turns out they won't be there until 9.30, but we have the Verizon people showing up here at eight o'clock, you know how they do. Eight to two will show up anytime from the, so, you know, someone's gotta be here waiting for them. So I thought, okay, I'll go just load up the van with a few things so I can stay busy while I'm there. So we loaded it up with a, a lot of stuff. And then I thought, well, while I'm there, I'll just do some laundry, loaded up some laundry. And then I thought, oh crap, I packed the laundry detergent. So then we packed up as many laundry boxes as we can find. So I feel like I'm gonna get a pretty good head start on the day. Alex is actually home, still packing boxes from yesterday. Oh my gosh, I went. we went to bed at like 2 a.m. He went to bed later than I did, but we ran out of tape. Hence, I had to do a Target run this morning to get some tape six rolls they're thirty dollars on six rolls and i bought 12 for yesterday we re how do we have so much stuff it's beyond me so today's a big day we're moving in it hasn't settled in yet really um i'm not sure when it will <laughs> but it's not right now so i'm gonna start unloading this monstrosity wow it's so nice. It's so nice out here. <laughs> Actually, aside from the dirty laundry and laundry baskets, everything else, uh, you can't even really see everything, uh, except, except for these Razor scooters. Anyway, hard to tell. 90% of the stuff in here, maybe 80%, 75, more like it. It doesn't matter. It's a thrift haul <laughs> that I have yet to share with you, but I was like, I wanna keep this stuff together because I wanna do a haul, so eventually this will happen. Just got the garage open and uh, woo! They rolled right up. First thing the guy said was, that's a long way from the road. Um, the door was left open. I don't know if Alex was here last night. He, I know he, I think he popped in to bring um, some TVs over because the movers, I don't know, needed us to buy moving boxes for the TVs. And we thought, uh, we'll just move them ourselves. I guess it's a liability thing for them. But also, we hired a cleaning service because, oh, it's a long story, a stipulation to the contract was, hey, okay, it's a really long story. Do you want to know it all? I feel like I'll just share it anyway. I'll, I'll try to condense it the best I can, short story long, here we go. So we had a 60-day moving contract, 60 days. Normally, it's 30 days, but you know, for a dream property, we thought, all right, we'll do it. So they asked for an extension. They said, hey, can we have five extra days? Uh, oh, like, okay, fine, whatever, whatever. You can pay us rent for five days. If you charge us rent, we can just cancel and we'll try to find another buyer. Ah, it truly is a seller's market, guys. They got everything they asked for and more, and we got nothing. Oh, okay, that's what I was talking about, the cleaning service. So we have family members who are highly allergic to dogs and cats, but can you please make sure you hire a cleaning service before you leave? Wouldn't you know it, dog hair everywhere. <laughs> I think they did hire a cleaning service. They just didn't do the floors for whatever reason, maybe the walls. So we hired someone and specifically said, clean the walls, clean the floors. Everything else is fine, but just like, anyway. So there's the short story long of why we had cleaners come in here. So I wonder if they left the door open. Wow, that was a long winded way of saying, why is this door open? <laughs> It's a beautiful day out, so it's not like the AC was, you know, running all night long. I can't, this view is incredible. Every single day we can look at this together. Just take a breath. Just take a moment for yourself. Feel the breeze. Turn on a fan, whatever you have to do. Fill your heart with gratitude. Take a moment for yourself. I should start yoga out here. All right, let's go inside. <laughs> All right, man, I'm gonna get my steps in today. That garage alone, it's like a thousand square feet. It's bigger than my first apartment. Um, I don't have a box cutter, so this is gonna be fun. Before I bring, I started to bring all the other stuff in and then I thought, well, I should probably get laundry going. 
it's like you know you're a mom of four when the first thing you do in your new house is laundry. Ooh, on the first try, look at that. Time to get laundry started. I'm not even really sure how to use this thing. I'm just happy that I have a top loader because my front loader forever, oh my gosh, it doesn't have one of those like metal things. Wow, it smells really good. Oh wow, what is that? I don't know, man. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, front loaders are so high maintenance. That's the word I'm looking for. It's high maintenance. I'm just gonna dump all the laundry in. I'm not sorting anything. I don't, know. I don't have time for that. Let's be real, I don't sort on a normal day when I do have time. I never have time. Who has time for laundry? Only those who want clean clothes, not me. I've been wearing the same pants for a week straight. No regrets. All right, let's throw this in, see how it washes our clothes. It preheats the bleach. What? Check it, there's a light in my washing machine. Why is that necessary? Pre, oh, pre, pre treat. I thought that said preheat. <laughs> I was like, man, you're preheating the bleach. What is this, detergent cup amount? What is all this? I don't know, man. Mine just says this and then start. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna have to figure all this out another day. Something's beeping. Softener tank. I don't even use fabric softener. I don't just start. I don't care. It's beeping at me. Okay, that's good. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Okay, softener tank. Okay, there we go. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, it's like a waterfall. I need a little more than that. Oh, wow, look at this glass top. This is fun. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get dizzy, man. What is it doing? There's no water in there. This is probably the most interesting thing I've done all day. It is only 9 a.m. Are you getting dizzy? This is ridiculous. It's a little theme park for our clothing. I don't know, if this doesn't fascinate you, are you even a mom? I could probably sit here and watch the whole load, but We've got other things to do today. Change my new guitar strings. Mow the yard just the same. Crying over you. But man, oh man, the smell is wafting around the whole house. I, I'm trying to get everything inside. I'm trying to unpack some laundry. I at least got the boxes open, so there's that. The movers have arrived to our house, so I might just Leave this, that is how it is. This little ranky dank sign. I'm gonna have to find a frame for it or something, bulk it up a little bit. I actually, oh my gosh. Found this really cool vintage, oh gosh, what, what is it called? A, um, I think you wring your laundry with it. It's like what they used to use to do laundry. It's $60. And for a piece of artwork, I feel like that's a good price, but I don't want to pay shipping, <laughs> which is a lot more money. And I don't know, I'm trying, I know if, when someone else buys it, I'm going to be like, oh man, Kim, you should have got that. But then also, like, do I need it? <laughs> no. I'm going to leave this how it is, get Meredith so she can uh, get out of Alex's hair. And then we'll come back and unpack the rest of the stuff. Kitchen, or the kitchen was the last thing that we packed. Probably be the first thing that we unpack because it's most important. Am I right? I just ran back and forth, loaded everything I could in here. So next time I'm trying to decorate for something, I was trying to get, I just wanted to keep it out of the way from the movers when they come in. Um, next time I need to decorate a wall, I'm just gonna come here. It's my own personal home goods. Wanna see? There we go. Ew. I actually thought about making this my office. It's perfect. We have a little desk we can put in there, put my monitor up there. What more do I need? Literally, what more do I need? It's got a light. It's got a door for privacy. I'm just saying, it's a good option. So update, we went back to the house and I packed all of the food from our pantry. 
It's like a really big grocery haul of uh, stuff we tried to eat through the past month but didn't quite get there. <laughs> I tried my best not to get anything we didn't need for the past month. I've really just been buying produce and vegetables and that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, we have a ton of stuff. I'm gonna load it up in the pantry. Alex and the movers are at the house right now unloading a ton more than just groceries. So the house should be moving along here. But one thing obviously I'm most excited about is the pantry. So of course, I'm gonna share that with you. Ah, Meredith, it looks a little different in here. This place is starting to fill up, fills up quick. I'm just gonna bring all the groceries in and focus on one thing at a time. Where is that rug even from? Oh, the entry, okay. <laughs> Part of me just wants to say, get rid of it all and we'll start fresh, right? New house, new everything, isn't that how it goes? <laughs> no? Okay. Just got all the groceries in. I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a theme for today. But every time I would bring something in, uh, the weather is gorgeous out here today, by the way. That's why we have all the windows open. But every time I would come out, I would just see that sun glistening on the water. Can you see that? Oh my, I'm dreaming. I still can't even believe it. Oh, you know what else I can't believe? We found this on the side of the road. What? <laughs> oh, makes me laugh. Meredith, you ready for a snack or something? Oh my gosh, I still have to get the food from the fridge. Man, I thought this was it. I was like, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, now we have to load it all up in here. Just put a cot in here, man. This is a bedroom. Let's be real. Oh, the good thing is that a lot of my stuff is in baskets, even though it's not organized or whatever. I can just pop it up there. It'll be good enough. It won't be Pinterest worthy. Nothing in my life ever will be. It's good enough. We, we watch the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and i know that we're not perfect that's it <laughs> i can't believe this stuff was overflowing my pantry at home i cannot believe this is my pantry. I can't believe it. I'm in shock, I'm in awe. This is nuts. It's nuts! Doesn't make any sense. Made a little adjustment so it looks a little better right when you walk in. I put all the white baskets just in a clump right there. Oh my gosh. Meredith is enjoying some popcorn. I just whipped up in the microwave, which is insane. The mi she just said, hey. You like the popcorn? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's good stuff, huh? Yeah. Microwave is actually, I think, an oven. Cook. Oh gosh, it's so sensitive. Food type, cook by time, heat, reheat, melt, slow cook in here, soften. Yeah, bake, broil. This is crazy sauce. It's like a microwave slash oven. So Meredith's room has some stuff in it. I saw the dresser and I said, where did that dresser come from? I literally did not even recognize it. I said, my gosh, it looks so much smaller <laughs> in this room. Look how freaking big this place is. So these are empty drawers. I'm hoping they packed Meredith's room. Okay, so I'm hoping all that stuff goes in there and then I'm gonna try to get her bed together It's her first big girl bed a twin bed what she has started to crawl out of her I'm getting a bunch of texts from uh, Family they're just getting home from the wedding. We came home. They stayed a day after to like hang out and stuff Anyway, oh big girl bed. Oh my gosh. She started climbing out of her crib and we were like how are you doing this? So we caught her doing it one time. It was the cutest thing, but also 
I feel like just in the middle of the night when she's half sleeping, it just takes a second for her to slip and fall and bash her head open and then the emergency room. So we moved her to the toddler bed, which she's been enjoying. She's totally fine on it. But now in this room, I was like, well, she can't have a toddler bed in here. It's freaking massive. It's gonna swallow that bed up. I said, it's time for her to have a big girl bed. We'll see how she does. It, I, it might be too high for my heart. So we'll we'll see how she takes to it. We might throw the toddler or the yeah the toddler bed in here if she fares better with that. But for now, I mean that's my goal for right this moment. And really, I didn't know they were gonna saran wrap it like this, or I would have just kept everything inside of it. How do I get all this crap off? What is that? Oh my gosh, Meredith, this came in already. Yes, not even moved in yet, and we're all getting, already getting Amazon packages sent here. I bought these for her birthday. Uh, she's having a frozen themed birthday. She's so excited about it. They're little kits. Like, do you want to build a snowman kit? You want to hold on to it? Let me know if she opens that up. She'll probably open it up before I get this thing out. I got her dresser done. I moved one shelf to Avelina's room. Meredith's occupied with her toys. She's already at home in her bedroom. I, you're welcome. I need an Allen wrench to put the bed together. <laughs> yes, Meredith. I need an Allen wrench to put the twin bed together. I don't have one. Alex is coming back for his second trip with the movers. So I'll have one shortly, but until then, I'm gonna start working on the kitchen. Oh, oh, I didn't tell you, a box already broke. <laughs> and when I say a box broke, I mean... That happened. It wasn't the mover's fault. It was Wentworth this morning, climbing on Mount Everest, and then a box fell. Alex said, what's wrong? I said, we have a four-year-old. <laughs> that happens, it's okay. So I, this will be the first box I open because I'm curious what broke. Probably my favorite dish because that's how it works, right? Isn't that Newton's Law? Aw, oh, man! I'm ruined! Oh, a couple things. Oh, no! No! It is my favorite. Good news and bad news. It's my fruit bowl. It was chipped. Good news is, did, wait, was that the good news? No, that was the bad news. The good news is they still sell it at Target for $25. I got it at a thrift store for like four bucks. Oh, man. Well, the good news is that's the only thing that broke. And maybe a Costco bowl. Yeah, that and a Costco bowl. That's okay. That's a part of moving, right? So I'm gonna deal with this and then I'm gonna start putting stuff away. I don't know. Where. My skeleton bowl broke. Okay, moving on. Another casualty. Everything else seems to be perfectly fine. I don't know where I'm putting anything. And you know what I just realized? I highly underestimated the depth of this island. I can't even reach the other side. I didn't pack my stool. Holy heck, man. These cabinets are so big. But all the fun times we had, I'll never forget. 
So chapped, all this fresh salt air. I'm just kidding, it's a fresh water lake. Uh, I just brought something upstairs and thought, oh, I have more things to bring upstairs. And then this chair, I don't know if Avelina wants it in her room or upstairs. I don't really know where anything's going. I just know that this space needs to get a little bit aired out before I finish the kitchen. I feel like I'm a third of the way done with the kitchen. I actually remembered that I forgot to pack the rest of the kitchen last night because we ran out of tape, like I told you this morning. And there's probably two or three more boxes I need to pack, but I can go home and do that another time. I mean, it's not important. It's like the labyrinth cabinet, stuff that I don't need right away. <sighs> okay, let's go bring stuff up. I guess I'll give you, show you what it looks like right now. Um, it's basically a mess. And then over here, we have our kids kitchen, which, oh my gosh, dream. Some uh, Meredith's stuff came in here too. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart we're dreaming. I was about to bring the desk in here, but it's, I don't even think it's my desk. So I don't know where we're gonna put the girls' old desk because they have like a built-in desk upstairs. <laughs> great, it's great. Bye. Something about how it is in the moonlight that look in your eyes and tells me that you grandfather clock where are we bringing you my dear okay oh look the mattresses are here that we ordered yay welcome to day two I don't know where I left you yesterday we actually did a lot of stuff the movers we were trying to move as fast as we can because we pay them by the hour so we're you know trying to get them out of here so I'm gonna just take you around. It basically looks like our house, normally looks. It's a mess everywhere. The girls' room, they started unpacking, they've got crap in there. The, oh, that's where we left, the mattress people. They came, dropped off a few mattresses. So let me just give you a tour of this disaster place. I'm hoping today that we can get a lot done, unpack the majority of the boxes inside. I don't think that's too much to ask. Also, a uh, goal would be to put this um, Lana patio set out here together. Do you think we can do that? Heck yes, I do. Yeah, because that would be really nice to sit out there. Maybe. It's a beautiful day outside. The weather is gorgeous. So we have our front door open. We've got the back doors open. What? 
I actually went back to the other house this morning and grabbed even some more stuff. So as you can tell, it definitely looks like our house. Oh, I don't know if I told you, <laughs> right? With all the crap everywhere. I don't know if I told you, we bought a new couch. I definitely shared a lot of that on Instagram. Uh, I shared the whole shopping experience with you. But yeah, so this is here. Oh wow, is the TV allowed to be like that? It's gonna go on the side of that. Oh yeah, it's gonna sit like that. Oh, okay, sure. Boxes everywhere, but I mean, you guys saw this yesterday. Maybe some more boxes in here. Oh, the dining room. Made some progress in the dining room. We got our table in here, the grandfather clock. Oh, upstairs, the playroom has a bunch of toys up there. So we're moving along. All right, let me show you the girls' room over here because I feel like, even though it's a little bit messy, and when I say a little bit, I mean a lot bit, uh, they started picking out all their things. We laid out their rugs and then put their mattresses on top of it because they had some crimps in it. We got them from Wayfair, so I don't know. We got a lot of rugs from, from Wayfair, actually, and some of them came rolled and some of them didn't. I guess it's the type. So same in here, just some progress, not too much. It would be, where's the light switch in here? Oh my gosh. I gotta tell you something, this house has so many light switches. Alex, we should go around and count how many light switches. There's, that sounds like a productive use of our time. That does sound like he said. That sounds like a productive use of our time. Just in this little corner alone, there's one light here. This turns it, oh, no. Oh, this turns the kitchen light on? There's so many. This turns the pantry light. There's a light right here. Turns the hallway light on. And then this one also turns it off. It's like, like what, you can't walk two steps. To, do you know what I mean? quite some time I realized I cannot unpack everything on camera it would just be way too much it's probably been an hour and a half that's my guess I spent a lot of time in here had to put the baby down she's now woken up the baby gate guy came oh my gosh and then the engineer came about our add-on so we'll see about we'll see how much that's gonna cost us if then then that'll be a factor of whether or not we decide to move forward but look at what I did in the process a kitchen not only is it fully stocked it is semi-clean dishes in the sink but other than that i'm going to show you around oh my gosh all right and then look at that pantry fully stocked and yet somehow i still need to go grocery shopping wouldn't you know it most of the time it won't look like this because it'll be full of crap i put my cutting boards here 
What did I put in here? Oh, Ziploc bags and stuff. What's in here? See, I have no idea. Pots. And then pans are down there. Well, a pot. Oh, it's whatever. Under here, I threw some other stuff down there. What is that? A, uh, I always forget the name of that. A pulser, KitchenAid, Instant Pot, you know. And then over on this side, I put our junk drawer here. I will likely just change out some of these drawers. I already did. I put bowl, mixing bowls there. Probably, probably don't need to go there. Oh, these are all of our Tupperware. Yeah, we'll get to that. Lunch containers here. Up here, I just threw my cookbooks and then a bunch of trays and then random stuff. I'm realizing I, I have a, a so much stuff. I actually have another bowl to add there. My Halloween bowl broke, it's whatever. I think it's pretty if I put display all my seasonal bowls. If I have more, I'll put seasonal bowls, seasonal bowls, and then move this stuff to the top because I don't access it a whole bunch. It's over here. Oh, plates and bowls and all that good stuff. I put, I don't know, measuring cups in there, baking supplies, all the cups in here. And I realized, ooh, I realized, man, I'm trying to squeeze everything in here, but it fits. It's fine. Down here. I don't know. It's more stuff, you guys. And then in here is more stuff uh, on a little kidney bean tray. Over here is the adult silverware. I had a problem with the silverware. Uh, some Pyrex, more Pyrex containers down there, baking stuff. Wait, are we done yet? My gosh, there's more under there. I just put some coolers and some strainers. I figured it's by the sink. I put all my crock pots down here and that air fryer. And holy crap, I think that's it. So next, I wanna move on to a room that I feel like won't take me very long, just so I can feel accomplished, either the dining room or the laundry room, because I do need to start doing laundry, or the bathroom. Oh, gosh, I took a shower this morning, feel like a whole new woman, but it took me 20 minutes to find the shampoo <laughs> and conditioner. I almost just went without. I was like, well, I just need to get underwater, please. Needless to say, I don't know what's next. And then I feel like, oh, I should just do the living room because that's what people see. And if they walk in and this is clear, then it'll kind of feel like the whole, I don't know. I don't know. So I need help. Speaking of help, Alex put this monstrosity together. Oh my gosh. It's like one or two seats bigger than I thought it was going to be. It really fills up this space. It's kind of ridiculous. But I just think it's a perfect seating area. They had something similar, the previous owners, when they lived here. And I just fell in love with it. And I thought, yes, I got this one from Home Depot. Uh, would not recommend. These things are so expensive. It took me a solid two months to finally order it. I was trying to find something cheaper. And I actually got scammed. Uh, it's my fault. It was like an ad. And it said it was $150. And I was like, yes! <sighs> it's impossible. I knew it was a scam. But I thought... Maybe there's a chance, just me. There's no chance. I spent way, way, way too much money on this, but I figured we're gonna have it forever. And it's such a nice piece to just sit and stare, you know? <gasps> Speaking of sitting and staring, we bought a paddle boat. Maybe I'll take you on a ride. There's too much unpacking to do. Let's do something productive. The kids are playing in the pile of sand, which I didn't tell you guys about. We got a pile of sand. Mom and dad are gonna take a trip on the paddle boat. Oh wait, how come I have three pedals? All right, there we go. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty out here. This is awesome. We looked for it, this is used. We got our Facebook Marketplace. 250 bucks. Yeah, we almost bought one new, but they are expensive and they're all out of stock. Wait, why are we turning? No, I just... My legs hurt already. It's a good workout. I'm not done. Let's see what this baby can do. All right, back to the grind. I'm going to show you a before. It doesn't really look that bad, just looks like mess, but there's a whole bunch of boxes on either side. We're gonna do our best here, okay? I see something, it's coming up on the horizon, oh. Let me clear my head and get rid of the distractions, oh. I was done, I was down, when I saw you in the clouds. I've been phased, filled with doubt. I was drifting in and out, levitate, fade away. I had left full time and space, but you just caught my eye. Hey, 
get to know ya. Hey, na, 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 na. Delve into emotion. Leave us in this moment. Yeah.
got you, and you got me too. Welcome to day 700 of unpacking. It's actually been, oh, way nine, what's up? I want you to tell them that these couches went on Facebook for 350, and I got 50 messages already, it's been five minutes. You're joking. They're too cheap. We need you to sell them. You are joking. We need to sell them for 550. Is it too late now? I already posted Have the price. Have you seen our couches? I mean, look at them. I told him $50. I actually said, just <laughs> let someone have them. <laughs> Yeah, how much did you post them for? $350. $350. Someone wants to buy our crusty couches. Five feet. He literally posted five minutes ago. Yeah, that's crazy. What? I told you we're getting new couches. We ordered it. It will be in the day before, the day before Thanksgiving, I, which I'm like, don't even believe. So I said, no one's been sitting on these couches anyway. Just get, you know, put them on Marketplace so that we can get rid of them before we get our new one. Dang, I thought it would be on the marketplace for like two weeks. These couches, guys, these couches. When did we buy them? 2009. Did you tell them they were old and crusty? They're not crusty. They're, look at this. Look, I can change the suede. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, they need a real good washing. Pretty ridiculous. So hopefully we're selling the couches. I Okay, so it's Wednesday, the week after we moved in. So it's been seven, eight, nine days. I really unpacked for like four straight days. I did the playroom one day, like one evening. I did the playroom and spent a few hours up there unpacking, which was ridiculous. I had a whole box. There were like four boxes and I had one to just donate and we still have so much stuff up there. I just unpacked this morning from our bedroom. We had like three boxes left in there. Uh, Meredith's birthday was the other day. So anyway, we've just been, it's been busy. But we, I don't think there's a single box inside the house. Our garage is a different story that I don't want to talk about. I'll show you. I'll give you a peek inside. But I just wanted to give you a roundabout peek around the house so you can like see. Is it still really echoey? I have yet to lay a rug. It is echoey. Okay, let me show you around. Oh, okay, sweet. So here's the living room. A Bob book. Yeah, I bought that for Wentworth. Here's the entertainment stand. Uh, it's not finished. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. You like my decor pieces? Yeah, yeah honey. Mama. Yeah, honey. Okay, got her some colors. Hopefully that will occupy her for two minutes. Uh, I started decorating, mostly because there was already a nail up there. <laughs> I just threw that up there. German bench is done. <laughs> Over here, into our bedroom. It is the first time we've seen no boxes in our room and it's semi-tidy. Uh, okay, so here it is. We haven't hung anything, uh, but there's that. There's still mess everywhere. That's my office. Uh, there's boxes everywhere. I have yet to unpack my closet. I feel like that's a standalone video that we can do one day together. It's gonna take me forever because I also wanna kinda declutter. There's mess everywhere in the bathroom. Let's just not talk about it. There's no boxes. That's a plus. Also, I am burning a candle. Hallelujah, it smells so good. I have to figure out like where else in the house I can burn a candle without little hands being able to touch it. This is probably the only fully finished room in the house. It is Meredith's room. Look at those flowers. They're paper flowers. They're from Etsy. Uh, someone gave them to me when I went up to pick up the twin bed frame. Her carpet is from Target, isn't it, darling? The bedspread's from Amazon. I fell in love with it. I thought it wasn't like the floor is pink, pink flowers. I didn't want it to be like 
overly pink, so I, I like the blue and pink. Uh, yeah, other than that, oh my gosh, this is her closet. Her wardrobe, isn't it darling? I just hung her clothes in there, and then she's got a little storage, and then a drawer at the bottom. I love that, and she loves having a mirror in here, so. Oh, she also has a little bookshelf over there. Okay, moving on, dining room is pretty much done. It's all my Target returns on the table. I feel like I set everything up a decent. I mean, it looks decent, right? It's not the best. Uh, this, well, I need to hang. I had it hanging on this wall, and then we thought, I think the mirror looks better there. Okay, down here, I love this rug. Oh, by the way, the kitchen rug, we got most of our rugs from Wayfair. I love the kitchen rug. I think it's like, like I mean, it can get dirty and you can't really tell, you know? So that's why I picked it out. Well, while I'm here, should I show you Wentworth's rug in his bathroom? I got Wentworth a rug in here and it's cute. I also hung my favorite uh, picture in here, the wolf. That's my favorite. I just think it's so adorable. It's Avelina's favorite too, but mom wins. Wentworth's room in here, nice and tidy. His closet looks good too. I have all his clothes hung up. And then, ooh, the kitchen. The kitchen looks nice and tidy, mostly because we just cleaned it forever. <laughs> Dad did the dishes, he wants everyone to know. Here is another rug for the hallway that I got from Wayfair. I think it's a 10 foot runner. Um, I I'm just. Marshall. Oh, you colored that? I'm Marshall. Oh, he looks so good. Okay, I also got the rug from Wayfair. I just think it's so beautiful. I love the colors. And also, you can't really tell if it's too dirty. And here's Eleanor's room. I got her rug from Wayfair, her pillows from Amazon. This, well, she has two pillow shams. She loved this. Um, but we wanted to get it in a comforter too, but I thought it would be too much with the rug that we had already ordered. So then we just got a pink, uh, uh, whatever that is, a quilt for her bed. Her bed frame and her headboard, we need to pick up. We're being terrible about it. And then her closet, I helped her hang everything up and get everything situated up there. But other than that, pretty spacious and she's loving her own room. Sorry, Dinosaur. Meredith. <gasps> Dinosaur? Oh, you colored a dinosaur. Bathroom, everything's unpacked. I don't know where that came from. Oh my gosh, Alex, you hung up the pictures? Were there already nails in the wall? <laughs> Look, here's a nice little photo while you're going pote. I still need to buy a shower curtain and a rod. Remind me to do that. <laughs> and then the laundry room over here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Literally the only day that it's been clean. That's a lie, yesterday, maybe the day before. But we had laundry piled all the way up. I wish I was kidding, the entire counter all the way up. It was ridiculous. It took me forever to fold, but I got it done. Okay, out of here. Happy to have a laundry room. This is a dream. Oh, I told you I would show you the garage. Okay, okay. So no judgment, right? First of all, we need to change that light bulb. Second of all, boxes they're all empty that's the good news another piece of good news is we have someone that we're going to give all of the empty boxes to bad news is uh there's more boxes here bad news is we have a ton of work to do in here mm -hmm. it's gonna be fun I tried to get rid of all the lamps sold a couple need to sell way more slash give them away or donate them because i'm at my wits end with this stuff okay I realized I did not show you upstairs. We had these baby gates installed too, which is super nice and helpful and it was definitely a learning curve. So this is what I've done to the playroom. It's a mess, that's okay, that's life for now. Uh, yeah, everything looks good out here. We haven't really done anything out there. Oh, I guess the uh, upstairs bathroom. I just added this thing, I need something shorter but this is what we have. I just put towels in here, hung a towel, brought some soap up, toilet paper. There's not even a toilet. Did someone leave their garbage there? Oh, I'm crying. I need to put a trash can in here. Let's move on. Over here, uh, this is the theater room, but this gets a lot of love and attention. Alex's uh, stepmom painted this for us years and years ago, and we have never had the wall space to hang it, so we finally hung it. And, oh wow, shoes, that's a new, we were looking for his shoes this morning, that's great. 
Uh, all right, and then my beloved Beauty and the Beast painting. My One of my cousins painted that for me in the year 92. That makes it vintage. <laughs> And here's Avelina's room, work in progress. Rug is from Wayfair, it is delicious. Desk is from Ikea along with the chair. She is working on setting it up. Uh, she got some artwork on the walls, that mirror, what a joy. She took it from me. Every g little girl needs a mirror in her room. I mean preteen. did I say little girl? Oh, excuse me. Uh, this is her hangout room slash her closet. We've been here for about a week. I still haven't figured out all the light switches. And I still haven't figured out where our landing zone is. I don't know where to put my purse ever or my shoes. <laughs> I think once we get the garage cleared, we'll be able to make a space in there. But until then, there is that. Thank you guys so much for unpacking with me. Got a little sneak peek of what the house is gonna look like. I think once we get a new couch in, and get all the beds set up. I'll maybe do like a full house tour. Would you guys wanna see that? I feel like I've done a house tour after house tour. If you wanna see it, I'll show you. I mean, I don't, that's what I'm here. I'm here to please. Thank you so much for hanging out. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time, bye.